Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Momsen was right and today I have something very special for you. I was drinking my morning coffee, surfing around on NeoGAF and some people wrote about a very special game that some gaffers played and it looked so interesting and the results screen especially looked so interesting that I immediately said I have to cast this. Problem is of course this game is very long. So um, well well, my main problem, I guess, in this case will be that I, that my tea is nearly empty and the, the drinks I have standing around are not enough to survive this. But on the other hand, it's my duty to cast games like these and, well, I, let's get started. Just let's jump into the game. We have uh, on the Radiant side Nitro Exe Wally Poppin Molly, okay. Super Kawaii Dezu, um, Cory? No, whatever. Corgi. Sticky Fingered Filcher and Two Stars. Uh, on the die side, we have. Or asterisks. Asterisks? Risks? Whatever. Gofu, Awful Waffle, T Swift X, uh, Legendary Elm Punch, and N Bocker. N Bocker. Let's see how many companions we have. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Sticky fingered filter. What's going on? <sighs> so sad when people don't have companions, and your companions levels suck. Really, fifty to hundred is minimum right now. We have to to get the ten million because I want to see what Valve is going to do when. Oh God! I already the picks already. Um, when we reach 10 million because sooner or later they won't be able to have any stretch goals anymore mm. oh, i have to ration my water for this game god this game is long okay um as i always say in my cast the picking screen uh, in a replace is horrible because you see pretty much nothing absolutely nothing going on but now we are in the game. On the die side, we have a Dazzle, a Tree, a Lena, a Phantom Cancer, and a Puck. On the Radiant side, we have a Terror Blade, which this looks like an Arcana set, a Centaur Warrunner, the Legendary Pudge with a nice hair set. We have a Rubik and a Doom. Mm. As usual, let's take a look at. Starting items, hmm, lots of boots first. The only boots first I normally would accept is on um, Juggernaut because uh, he needs them for his spin and people really like uh, boots first right now on Trin Protector if you know how to play it and if you're a team player that can work. Lots of Star Shields first. Um, <laughs> that means a lot of people are hoping to farm. And, well, nothing otherwise horrible. I never liked that uh, people rushing the talisman. Really, just get your recipes and stuff on your courier and buy something else at first. You don't need to complete your items in base. Okay, let's get this away with. Because there's already action going on, it seemed that, oh, there's quite some coordination. This will be a relatively high level go. Oh, is, are we going to already see a kill? Yeah. Oh, nice lift. And Doom is coming in. Every, oh, everybody is coming in. Oh, Ruby is running away. But another Leech that he has. Oh, the damage. Oh, God, the damage. Tree does so much damage on level 1. But this, this could be bad for Tree. Oh, go. Awful weapon. Run. Ah, oh, Daddle for the rescue. That was close. This was basically the, the strategy that a lot of pro players currently have. That is, sending Tree into the enemy jungle pretty early for warding and using Leech Seed and his ridiculous early game damage to get kills. Uh, Leech Seed is nice, but uh, it's so ridiculous. Look at this. 85 base damage at level 1. What? What is this? Oh man. <clears throat> but if it doesn't work, well, you have a tree that runs around and pretty much doesn't get any experience. Hmm. Like in this case. He's here and he's holding Centaur back, but Centaur does quite a much damage and if a d another double edge would really have hurt. 
And well, we have a tri lane top, which means that's going to hurt Phantom Kansas farm quite a lot. And <clears throat> Centaur is well quite tanky, and he's an off laner. He is not losing his team. If if he doesn't get that much farm, his team isn't losing as much as Phantom Cancer is losing when uh, there are two supports around. Of course, if they are going to get kills on Centaur, that's something else. Let's look at other lanes. In the mid, we have a mid Dazzle versus a Pudge. Mid Dazzle is a nice. Pudge, uh, sorry, Dazzle is in general a very, very good hero. You can play him as a not really carry, but nearly carry. Um, they did nerf Poison Touch a little bit, not but not a lot. <clears throat> and what is he rushing? Um, medallion? We'll see. <clears throat> Top lane, Cancer is doing his magic. Has skilled Spirit Lance. Did he? He's level 3. Okay, 2 Spirit Lands and 1 stat. Okay. Uh, on the bot lane we have Rubik and Terrorblade. Uh, Terrorblade can be a really dangerous carry. Really dangerous. His skill set is ridiculously good. He's, uh, his base damage um, is okay, I guess. But um, Reflection is such a good skill. I mean, it has a 60% movement slow on level 1. And it, it creates a, a illusion that attacks you. What's going on? Man, Terror Blade is so good. Um, oh, 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 oh. Ah, that could be the death. That should be the death of Centaur. Oh, nice, Sam, but still. Everybody is behind him. Um, hasn't has his ulti. Another, another stun from Lena misses. Ah, it's so good. Centaur is so tanky, he survives. Nice. And that was a lot of investment by the di uh, Dire team. A lot of investment. Wow. Really? Uh, Centaur is a pretty good offlaner. He is super tanky and uh, he can get away with a storm. Does a lot of damage with his double edge. Of course, because of double edge, he really needs his hood. You really, if, if you don't, I mean, I guess everybody who is in a game like this knows how Double Edge works, but Double Edge basically does damage to Centaur and to the enemy. And that's why most Centaurs really build hoods, because that uh, reduces the damage you take. Gofu in the mid lane is ta doing a lot of pressure and Pudge. Pudge is not having a life game, uh, because he's getting uh, the medallion on him. So armor reduction that is on the early in the earlier levels the armor reductions from medallion is massive ridiculous and then poison touch oh god what is going on is he yes nice the poison touch damage why he should have denied himself oh, first kill for dazzle dazzle good hero and getting um tree armor up a little bit yeah but um, Centaur has his Tranquil Boots, so if they don't burst him down, if they don't stun him, he's going to heal up everything so quickly. Yeah, we have smokes. Yeah, it's quite a nice high level game. On the bot lane, we have a puck that doesn't have a quite a nice game. Yeah, boots only. Let's look at last hits the nice. Dazzle is rocking the game. Uh, Cancer is also very, very far ahead, but how shouldn't he? He has a lot of supports running around helping him. Um, well, Terror Blade is not doing too bad. And oh, Puck is actually doing well. Is he rushing a Blink Dagger? I mean, <laughs> rushing a Blink Dagger is normally very good on Puck, but not Brown Boots rushing a Blink Dagger. That is a little bit ridic ridiculous, at least by a bottle or anything. I mean, he has. 549 HP right now and together with any kind of support he should be dead. Oh, and of course we have the necessary. We have Nitro Exe, Valley Poppins, M Molly or whatever, a jungling to death. Because, you know, um, ganking this dude here? No. Why should we? I mean, I could just sit around in the jungle and hit creeps. Hitting creeps all day. Oh, I hate this so much. Okay, Dazzle's coming in. Hey, Strun. Oh, God, the damage. The damage. Do something, Pudge. 
Hooking to the tower? What are you doing? He could have hooked him to the tower and then a lift by um, Rubik would have been quite nice. Oh yeah. Really sure. Everybody has the immortals now. But the immortals are really nice. Yes. I didn't get the puck one yet, I think. Okay, the Dyer the Dyer team is really aggressive with the awards. Award here and award. Oh, there's got Roaming going on. Oh nice hook! That should be No, no, Dazzle is going to kill Pudge. Ah that level one ulti really isn't enough, but is Lena going to be, go down? No, she has 9 HP running around. Ah, oh, Dazzle has to die. Oh, but he kills, he kills Rubik before he dies. Nice. So good. So good. Nice place here. And Pudge is going to become, um, well, a ball on a chain for his team. He has died two times now. He has five, la five fucking last hits. That's not good. And a punch that does get neither kills nor last hits is useless and can be burst down pretty quickly. I mean, what is the secret why Dazzle can kill Pudge? This one. Yes, two armor. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, Dazzle's doing the magic again. Uh, minus six. Oh, the Doom. Are they going to get him? Oh, that hood would be it. Would have been it. Support TP from Tree. Uh, that's a level 1 Doom, I guess. Yeah. So that won't kill him. No, not at all. On the top lane, Centaur is still having a nice time. He has everything he needs right now. Um, well, I wouldn't use Double Edge quite, quite so much, dude. <clears throat> Especially against the Cancer. But, I mean, if Cancer would have had uh, a support here in the jungle, um, they could have killed him easily. Oh, oh, are they going to kill him? Another Lance. Lance is. Lance soon off cooldown. Lance, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. But still, Ellen Fudge getting the kill. But that was a lot of damage. Hook, hook. Oh, he hooks the illusion. Oh no, he hooks the right one. Down she goes. Nice. First kill for Pudge. Uh, that was good. Supporting his team, not just sitting around and. Uh, I, oh yeah. Um, has a voice stomp. Uh, Doom has a voice stomp, was nice. Uh, saved him from Dazzle. There is a support TP coming in. Again. Minus two armor. Oh god, the damage. The damage. You're dead, dude. You're dead. And down he goes. Dazzle doing the work. <laughs> Please. What is this? People. What is with all these wards? What what is going on? Wards everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six wards. Just here, around here. Why? I mean, I understand this uh, dewarding ward, but what this? Oh well, whatever. And can you deward with that one? I don't care. And it, of course you don't get your rune vision. Uh, oh, Puck dies, sorry. Just read too much about <coughs> wards and stuff. Okay, Tarot Blade is starting to do the, the things he does best. He has quite an amount. Oh, oh nice, nice. Oh, such a nice hook. And the sun. That wasn't worth it. Losing your carry for a tower isn't worth it. And, yeah. I mean, Dazzle carry is nice and all, and you get kills and you are happy, but, well... When Terror Blade is going to get some farm, he's going to eat you for breakfast. <clears throat> These skills are so good. Look at this. He's level 8 and he has... Oh, 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 they get him! Oh, God, nice! A change! The Sunder, nice, he swapped out the uh, the HPs. If you don't know how this works, you can swap your HP with that of an enemy. And that he did nicely. Oh, why didn't you help him? Why, what? Why did you run away? You have full HP, dude. Oh, well. 
Still, getting kills. <clears throat> Pudge is doing the roaming. The Pudge roaming is the sad roaming because <clears throat> you're always hoping that your enemy is stupid or you are skilled and you try to get kills. But if you don't get kills, you're just a dude that is running around the map, not getting experience, not getting anything. Well, and well, wasting his and his team's time. Green Protector has been pulled some tangos. Uh, couldn't you just use Living Armor? Oh, everybody's going bot. Nearly everybody. That should be... A, oh, yes. Nice. They're going to kill Terrorblade. They know what's going on. They know exactly what they have to do. But their support CP is coming in. Um, yes. They get Lina. She should be... No, oh, the grave. Nice grave. But this... Oh, God. Terrorblade is going to town. Dude. Dude, Terrorblade is going to town. But... I think he's going to die. Yeah, there's simply too much poison damage. Simply too much poison damage from that. From uh, and everybody is running away from a dazzle. This is so nice. <laughs> and of course, uh, don't forget that the wave also does, does damage. <clears throat> that was very very nice. Um, well, he has. What is he buying? He is buying a drum. I approve. And all the while, Cancer is doing what Cancer is doing, that is pushing down pretty much everything. And he died two times, has one kill, that's okay. Don't like the Quelling Blade, but Quelling Blade, in my opinion, if ah, that's just my personal opinion, but um, well, for me, Quelling Blade is also always says I cannot last hit. I'm very bad at last hitting, I admit it, but still. <clears throat> okay, this should this should be tower, definitely. Bottom tower is, under is going for... is he going for an alt stick? Yeah. Now, if you don't know how weave functions, weave is the most underappreciated and the most ridiculous skill of all. He is in crew, Im is <laughs> improving and decreasing armor. Improving, of course, on your people and on their people. And that constantly. So basically it goes on and on and on. And in a, the area it does this is massive. It's ridiculous. And uh, with Scepter it goes down or up so fast. And if you look at this, um, Terrorblade has 15 armor. Right now he has 18 armor. And it helps a lot to reduce that. And down goes Rubik. Yeah. Uh, why do you go in? What's going on? Are you crazy? You have no supports here. Oh, the... Uh, the illusions dunes work. Oh, now they're all. They are all here. We have an invisible doom. But you should have doomed somebody. If you would have doomed the devil, that would have been it. You have to kill devil a couple of times. Doom devil. God damn it! Doom somebody. Yes. Nice. So Pudge is looking what he can do. Oh, such a nice Aldi. Nice free Aldi, but. Pudge, uh, sorry, Puck goes down, Tree goes down, oh, Radiance Courier goes down. Somebody popped a drum, don't know why, oh, they want to get Dazzle. Dazzle has been so annoying, the dude has five kills, of course they want to get him. Ah, it's a slow, very slow, how, mu how, how much slow does it mean? Um, oh, God, up to 100%, what? Oh God! Radiance bottom tower is under On the top lane, Cancer is doing what Cancer is doing. We don't have to talk about this. As two four in the bank, don't know what he is trying to build. Is he going for a radiance? <clears throat> I mean, uh, pushing uh, down the enemy would be a nice idea. Um, God. <laughs> Do you see it? It's already starting. Did you see the damage that Terrorblade illusions do? But still, Terrorblade has uh, five kills and he has a lot of last hits. But if you look at Dazzle and especially if you look at Cancer, that's a lot. My god. So what is he getting? What's on the courier? We have a Yasha. So he's going the secure way, so he's going I guess going to get a Manta. Ok, 
Okay, Alina roaming around. She had an... Uh, well, okay, game. Okay, what's going on? Oh, yes, they doom dazzle. And the fresh meat and bad puck comes in. The puck ulti. Oh, the hook. That should be it. Gofu, you are dead. Are they going to three, get 3-2? Three, yes, yes, of course they are. There's simply too many there. Nice coordination here. <clears throat> two very important supports and one of them uh, has... Um, wants to be a carry but well he is has nearly finished his Aghanim Scepter that means he's been to be much much more tanky <clears throat> I really looking forward to seeing when oh god the damage it's already starting <laughs> the, the illusions oh, oh nice nice just use your ulti use your ulti why didn't you use your ulti he's dusted ulti oh, yes okay yeah, that was unnecessary, but still. Um, is Puck? No, Puck, you can't get a kill on that. That was bad. Uh, enemy coming in, but still. Puck is going down. The Radiant is wrecking house, but had an invisible Luna coming in. <laughs> Not even using... Oh, nice. That was nice, Luna. Really, I say Luna, sorry, Lina. An invisible Lina that's going to house. Um, really, that you see that Lina, I'm sorry, <laughs> really had the cool. So she really waited. There was a low HP victim there. And most people simply would say, oh god, I'm going to Laguna play you. But she just killed him with last hits and I think one dragon slave and then you use the Laguna blade on another enemy. That was nice. Yes, that was a nice turnaround. Oh, I'm really interested what she is going to build. Jesus Christ, all these people that just have the money in their inventory, I'll never understand that. I mean, if I have 2000 gold and I'm not really, oh, they should, oh God, the damage and dazzle. The damage, but, oh, the tree armor. God damn it all to hell. That tree armor is so good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is he going to die? That is a level two do. Oh, yeah, okay. The hook gets a kill. Really, that's a little bit sad, but it's um, well deserved. Sorry, Dazzle, if you're watching this, but, oh, that, that's bad. Phantom Lancer kills Terrorblade. That's bad. Together with Puck. Uh, the enemy carry dying the second time. Well, Phantom Lancer died three times, but in general, I think Terrorblade needs levels much, much more than Cancer. But um, I think Dazzle had a lot of success early on and got a little bit ballsy. Uh, ran, always running in early. Um, oh, this could be bad. Are they going to. What is uh, no, what? Oh, ultimate orb. The tower. Oh, they that could be bad. Then the one stun is is the stun going to land? No, no, it's not. No, let's see. There's already shadow poison on him, but the ult should uh, save him. Poison touch. Sorry, shadow poison. What am I talking about? Who? <coughs> Lanes pushed out. Yeah, they really have to defend this tower. I already lost this tower, so they really have to look out. I mean, the dire team has cancer, so. Okay, some rotating going on. The supports are on the hunt. Ah, oh. <laughs> that could have been it. Oh. This is, uh, you are so sad for Pudge if, when something like this happens because he needs a kill so hard and then you finally find something as support and you are denied and killed. Nah. That's the danger of Pudge. Everybody's mid. Of course, um, one down on the Radiant so the Dyer can push. Oh, that was dangerous, Pudge. Weave armor going on. Wasn't that a little bit too far forward? Did he hit anybody? No. Terrorblade waiting. I mean, last hitting uh, wise, he has done a quite a good job. Yeah, Dyer's backing off. 
And uh, Rosh still in his pit, pretty much virgin. We have Observer Wards. Are you going? No, they're not going to Roche. There's a Terror Blade Illusion. Watching out for that. There are wards for everybody. And on the top lane, Cancer is doing what Cancer does. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah. Has a uh, Yasha. Has 100 gold. Did he buy something? Yes. There's a Manta Illusion. He's going for the pushing build. It's a secure, um, the secure build, and it's uh, I like it. I don't like people rushing butterflies or stuff like that. Um, Radiance, you can negotiate about that. Radiance burn is interesting on your illusions, but still, Manta is such a good item. It gives you HP, and you, if you're an agility carry, you need HP. It was what 10 strength, I think. Okay. <sighs> Too much sitting around, people. I know your supports and I know you have to defend the tower, but please. Well, in this way, in this situation... Um, ah, cancer is farming. Uh, as long as Cancer is farming, uh, Gofu and his fellow supports can hang, hang around as much as they want. And is Terrorblade farming? No, well, yes, yes. He's using his illusions too. He can't... Uh, quite far as good as Cancer, but still, Cancer is a nice lance. Um, by the way, if you know the Phantom Lancer song from Cybermat, listen to that, it's so cool. Ooh, is that tower to go down? Uh, let it go into deny range. Is it in deny range? Deny. Um, again, do you know that beautiful casting example from the Korean casters um, from TI3. Deny, 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 deny! Oh, Pudge going in with this blink dagger. Silenced. Oh, that should be it for Rubik. Yes, down he goes. That was a nice spirit land, so the kill should go to Phantom Lancer and they get to the tower. That's bad for the Radiant team. That tower should have not fallen to the Dire team. That was a nice initiation. Really good. So, and everybody's rotating, but, well, you could argue that this would be a good situation to Roche, but they just lost uh, Rubik and he's not going to be dead for a long, long time. So, support's going top. Oh, <laughs> nice initiation. Of, co of course you can't kill them, but still, that was a lot of damage. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, Dazzle is, has a fantastic heal, so they should heal up pretty quickly. And they have tree armor. Look at this. It's ridiculous. I mean, <clears throat> Centaur used his stomp, used his double edge, and used his ulti. And still, they're, yeah, they're full. They're full again. Uh, only Dazzle is missing a little bit of HP, but not a lot. Uh, so sad. Okay. Ace on tree and protector. Level 1 ulti. Full living armor, two points in leech seed and one point in invisibility. Are they going to get him? Uh, yes, yes. Laguna Blade is Laguna Blade. Nice. Uh, that was so nice. Laguna Blade is Laguna Blade. I'm so wise today. I'm the the king of wisdom. Uh, just have to drink something, sorry. Ah, uh, yes. So... <clears throat> In general, the Dire is really, really pressuring the Radiant. We have a 2000 XP lead for the Dire and uh, more than 75k gold lead. Um, Dazzle is still quite pushing, has now 126 base damage, which is ridiculous. Uh, 180. He has more base damage than Doom. God. Well, Doom's items are not built for damage. He has a mechanism. He uh, is building pure tank. Oh, there is a BKB now on Terror Blade. Um, but I don't think I agree with this item build. It is okay to have some minor items. Um, like a drum is always very good and uh, on an agility carry. 
Ring of Aquila. But all the other stuff here, that's too much. So you, a drum and a Ring of Aquila and a Puma Street, that's too much money in small items. Now is a BKB, which is nice, but well, where do your agility items do it? No, no, no. Um, oh, nice, nice hook. Nice hook, but still, I don't think they are going to get him. Oh, such a beautiful grave. Dazzle is going to town here, but still, Puck goes down. Ah, nice ulti from Tree. Well, they couldn't follow up, and oh, Lina is going to get hooked. Are they going to get her? Oh, oh. Yeah, Doom should get her. But is the grave the grave? Cancer is... Oh god, what is going on? Cancer is visible. Kill somebody, kill Cancer. Luna is down. Lina is down, sorry. Okay, <laughs> Pudge runs into Cancer. Ah, uh, uh, the ulti, the ulti, the ulti. Yes, they get it. That's bad for the dire. So nice. And, oh god, Terrorblade gets another kill. Now, everybody, uh, not Kung Fu fighting, but... Um, Killing, uh, you know, this dude here. He's called Roshan. Bad dude. Are you a bad enough dude to kill the president? No, uh, that wasn't not kill the president. Uh, I would have really, you know, first taken Roshan. Oh well. Um, Tree and Pucker up. And I don't think that they will be now able to. Oh! Ah, is, uh, is this what is worth it? Uh, if they get... No, no, they won't get Puck. They won't get Puck. Oh, Lina is going in. What are you doing? If they... Oh, Terrible Blade dies. That was worth it. Oh, God, such much count initiation. But are they going to get treat? Oh, he has so much HP. So much HP. Everybody... Oh, God, please kill him. Please kill him. Yes. Nice. Ah, uh, Dazzle goes in. Weave is on. Let's see. Pudge. Oh, yeah. Doom. Oh, <laughs> nice save. But what are you doing, Ruby? You're far too fair for it. Oh, yes. He is down. Oh. That was so nice. Turning this around so much. No. No. That didn't work. Sorry, Pudge. Such a nice turnaround. Dagon one on Puck. Um, that tower should fall. Well, it's only Dazzle and Cancer, but still. Well, <laughs> it's only Dazzle and Cancer and lots of his illusions, right? Oh god, Ellen Pudge is going to town. And down goes the Dire. And not the Dire, but the Dire Tunnel. The Dire Tunnel, of course. We have, um, let's put it like this. I think Dazzle really likes his ulti. He now has a refresher. Hmm. I mean, I like the ulti too, but um, this is a little bit much, don't you think? Okay. Um, hmm. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Cancer now is his defusal. Getting more and more dangerous, so we have mana burn and all the illusions. And, uh, well, it, it, look at this. Look at the damage. <laughs> this is the phase of the game where you have to run from Manta Illusions. And from Normal Illusions too. So, um, yeah. Something to kill Illusions in mass would be good, like Cleave. But, uh, Terrorblade already has his money so spread out. So sad. Why did he buy a BKB? There, I don't know. BKB is always good, and BKB is pretty much core on most uh, carries, but he, he needs pure damage. He needs the possibility to burst down all these supports. And if you look at how tanky they were, especially with Tree Armor, especially with the help of Daddle, that simply isn't happening. Mm. Sad. Especially, why did he buy a, a recipe first? Hmm. Oh well. It's an illusion battle. But the Terror Blades illusion are very good, but they're not self replicating like uh, the Borg. I mean, the Kent's illusions. Now, are people going to. Ooh, nice sheepstick on Lena. Are people going to Roche now? 
Everybody is kung fu fighting. I mean, everybody is. Oh, who did they get? <sighs> it's simply not enough damage. And oh god, and the grave. It's so. I'm so sad for this punch. So sad. There's a doom unpack. Is he going to survive? There's so much here. Yes, he is going to survive. Uh, he's going to die. Dazzle is <laughs> beast moding it. Yeah. Yeah, he is lifted. This is it. You're dead. But look at what they have to do to kill him. <laughs> and all the while, we have Cancer Illusion and Manta Cancer Illusion pushing down a tower. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, God. No chance. This tower is gone. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? No. They save it. Now you, they can deny it if they want. If they don't, that's also okay. Lena, I get this is going to be late mail. Well, why not? <clears throat> don't think I would do that on Lena. If you ask me what I would buy next on Lena, it would be a Blink Dagger. Or a Force Staff, but Blink Dagger would be better. <clears throat> Blink Dagger is basically. Um, in my opinion, a core item on nearly every support. The best thing you can have is some get some kills or assists on, for instance, look at this. This is so ridiculous. Um, on a support and then be able to, especially a Crystal Maiden. I love Crystal Maiden with Blink Dagger so much. What is going on? <laughs> yeah. All the skills Rubik has are useless. He's stolen Poison Touch. But what else should he do? I mean, look at this. They need two guys just to stop these illusions. All the while, Cancer is farming somewhere else, here in the jungle. And then he is uh, getting more and more illusions and sending them in lane again. Um, all the while, Lena has full Fury Souls and is wrecking house. Artful Werfel helping her um, farm the Ancients. Wait a minute. They are. Aren't these spell immune? Why did you use uh, Dragon Slave? Okay. Now we have mid cancer. Oh god. Can you heal the illusions? I don't know. Ah, I'm so sad for this patch. And also a little bit for Rubik because in this game he pretty much can't do a lot of things. On the bot lane, we have uh, Centaur being bossy. Yeah, this should be it. Yes. The Dagon. The Dagon. Too far forward. Far too far forward. Um, in this phase of the game, there's no excuse for your support, especially for your main initiator, to be so far forward alone. Now, um, Centaur has to play the team game. I mean, he has the pipe, he has a super stun, and he has the initiation stampede. So, there's no excuse for him to push lanes low. Now, look at this. <laughs> uh, Rubik is now starting to lift illusions <laughs> because he can't kill them. And down goes the bot tower. I mean, he was really down, but still. It's so... Uh, you can feel for them, can't you? Oh, God. That stun wasn't... He didn't really want to do... It. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, God. The damage. The damage. Ooh. This tree. Warding. Arrow blade. Farming. He's building a Mjolnir, which is not that bad against the illusions, but... He hasn't been able to do that much yet, especially in regard to pushing. And if you look at his teammates, nobody of them is really good at counter push. And especially against those illusions. I mean, look at Doom. He now is uh, 18 armor, right? He has a mechanism and an assault caress, and he was wrecked by cancer with his illusion. Totally destroyed. 
My god. So... But they don't have a natural uh, cleave carrier. You know, like... Uh, who of these guys would build a battle fury? Nobody. Yeah. And next problem. Terrorblade has only one item that has agility. And he's an agility carry still. Uh, Super Kawaii Dezu. Are you going down? No. They immediately use the dust. Pudge is dying so quickly. Well, <laughs> Oh, weave armor. This is going to wreck them. Minus 20, minus 21, minus 24, look at this! Minus 29, minus 30, minus... Oh god! But still, they're going to get it. But look at this! Minus 45 armor! Minus 51, minus 58, minus 60... Oh shit! Oh god! Oh my... Oh! Is he here? Yeah, no chance. Oh, he's invisible. He stole a tree. No, he stole a uh, doppelwalk. Uh, otherwise, this would have been it. Ah, 24 armor. Hmm. So painful. Okay. Again, they use the dust. They should be able to see cancer. But how are they going to kill it? At least they bring down Puck. But look at the damage. Look at the damage. How, what do you do? What can you do? Uh, Auto Rod um, Terrorblade is doing as much as he can with his illusions. But still. This is... This was... Up to now it was a very nice game. Now, there is one problem with this game. This game, in my opinion... I mean, the kills are very even. The kills are very even. But right now there should be no way <clears throat> that the Dyer shouldn't win this game pretty soon. I mean the fighting has been pretty close, but Cancer is so farmed, this game should be pretty much over, in my opinion. But the XP difference isn't that high and the Dyer has an 8000 gold um, advantage, which is okay. Let's look at net worth. And yet... Uh, that Doom has been pretty much useless. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I already can tell you this game is going to go on a long time. A lot longer than this. And I'm really interested in knowing how, how are they going to defend this? How, how are they destroying these illusions? Are they? Cancer is in? Oh, that, that should be a dead cancer. That was stupid. That was so stupid. I mean, all he had to do was just send his illusion on and go back to farming. And he had already seen that all the time uh, there were usually... Oh, oh, that should be a dead. Senna is again out of position. What are you doing, dude? Um, they have seen, he has seen that they are also always, always using dust immediately when they see his illusion to see if he's there. And that was an inexcusable, pretty much. But still. Um, and on the other hand, it was excusable because of this heart. And once you have a heart on a Phantom Cancer and have your 10 illusions up, you're always thinking that you are pretty much incredible. Now, the Dia team is, uh, for some reason I can't understand, rushing without their main carry which is okay because they can see that the enemies are all over the map they see they are pushing up here and they can pretty much it it's okay for them to lose one tower but <laughs> why it was so important that lena gets a, an aegis i don't really know that was pretty much a joke well i guess his cancer cancer is six slotted anyway so is there going to be a fight? And the illusions doing doing some work. They are in regard to uh, the the relationship between damage and damage taken, the best illusions in the game. But they are net, not nearly enough than those of cancer. And of course, the ones of cancer are. Replicating, like the Borg, as I said. Wally, what was it? It was Wally Poppins. Nay, no, Poppin Molly. Wally Poppin Molly. Um, what did he sell? 
buying another Maelstrom. Attack speed is good on Doom. And this is for them the only answer against cancer. Answer against cancer. Well, I understand what they're trying to do. I mean, what else can they do? Nobody of uh, their team is really uh, a natural carrier of an, uh, for Cleave, as I already said. So they have to work with something. Yeah. To stop the illusion. Wait a minute. Did Lena just get a... Yeah. <laughs> she get a got a Dallas. I think the time for supporting is over, right? <laughs> but still, they're getting wards, getting wards now. Oh, that's bad. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> that was a save, if I ever saw one. So, let's see if they can stop this. Especially against Weave Armor. No, no way. Now, let's look at these people. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. On it goes. Look at Terror Blade. Minus 18. Minus 20. But still, are they going? Is Lina going to die? Ah, they have so much here. Lina is down. Rubik is down. But Rubik is inconsequential. Lina is back. Doom should be. Yeah, Doom is down. That was Lina's work. And now uh, Terror Blade is uh, in dire trouble. Oh, got it. But he's wrecking. He's wrecking. Yes. Are they going to get him? Lance! Has he a Lance? Oh, what was this? Why did you go in? Send our bot back. That should be another Rex. Um, Terrorblade is still in the game. Oh! Well, the buyback was a little bit worth it. I don't think he... Oh, that's, that's bad. Uh, dust! Do they have dust? Dust, 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 dust! Ah, he had no mana left. That was so bad. A complete team wipe. Now I understand how this game can uh, go on some quite some time. Um, again, unnecessary. Because he just could have left his illusions. And look at the lanes. The bot lane is all, almost pushed out completely. And... Uh, at the same time, the middle tower is, uh, is pressured. All he had to do was go to the mid lane, port here, um, uh, stack up his illusions, and then walk down to the bot lane and continue whatever to farm. Whatever it is that Phantom Lancer does, now Pudge buys a BKB. Well, he can use the HP, why not? It's his only strength item he has. Which is a little bit problematic, of course. He has died 17 times, but he has 17 assists. But that's just um, that's just tell us how the team fighty this game was up to now. Yeah, they are relatively good at killing the illusions from Terror Blade right now. The Baffle dude goes back into the jungle. Staying invisible, scouting out. I guess this is going to be uh, this is going to be an AC. What is puck building? A sheep stick. Dazzle still has this uh, this strange build going on. I don't understand, dude. You know, you had so much farm, so much ridiculous farm. If this would have been a sheep stick, you would have killed Terror Blade over and over and over. Yes, he has a BKB. Oh, oh is Tree going to? Ah, he has so much HP, and he's now he's great. But still, he is in the middle of the enemy team. He should go down. He should go down. You are going to go down. Are you going to go down? Is he going? Oh, no, he's still alive. How how is this possible? He is still alive. Oh my god, and now he's invisible. This is it. My god, the power of tree. And now Phantom Cancer goes in. Oh, it's Doom. Doom is down. Doom is down. Oh god, but now Lina is down. Yeah, Rubik stole the reality. And Cancer is going to fall. Is he oh god he's no almost taking no damage? Ah oh, he's invisible. 
What a fight, but again, the Dye team took a lot of losses and the Rainy team is pulling ahead in regard to kills. Um, Cancer working on his um, butterfly and I guess nobody is working on a, a MKB yet. But well, um, I think Terrorblade will sell his drum pretty soon, it has no charges left. See, uh, well, if there is something I would like that it could somehow recharge the charges of the drum or upgrade the drum, but I don't think they are going to do it. But the drum is such a good item anyway. I I don't think it's oh god, is Rubik even going to be able to do anything? No, he has to he has to pull the creeps into the base, uh, into the fountain because he's not able to stop uh, these creeps. No chance. Which is sad because of all the the farm lost. Shiva's guard going to go down on center of Warner. <sighs> I'm so conflicted because I mean they know they are losing all that uh, armor anyway, right? One weave armor and it's it's gone. So is stacking armor still still worth it? I don't know. I would have preferred a heart. But still, uh, Shiva's got also has a good active. The slow is very, very good. And it gives him, in does he need more? No, he, the intelligence is wasted. I mean, he already has a thousand, uh, thousand intelligence. Okay, there come the cancer illusions. But this time they should be able to kill them pretty quickly. Doom has a, a maelstrom, already has a smaller recipe, which has been become I think has been getting more expensive the, uh, of, by 600 gold, which is ridiculous in the last patch, the surprise patch. And now Terror Blaze illusions are going to uh, go to the house, but uh, still <laughs> Elm Punch illusions are destroying them. So Terror Blade, and again, oh God, they are still, they're all here. They're still here. All the illusions are still here. Oh God. No. <laughs> oh god, they are going right for the tower. And look at this. Look at use active. Use active of Mjolnir. That helps. Oh no, he killed them. Still. Um Terror Blade's damage is definitely not high enough at this uh place in the game. Of course the the reason for that is because he had to build a Mjolnir. Yeah, and he needs a, a butterfly or something. But now he has to build an MKB, which will help him against the evasion. But, well, it won't really help him to, you know, burst down the illusions quicker. God, he takes so much damage. Miss, 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 miss. Miss, miss. We scouting out. Seeing the weak link. Um, Pudge is building a late game Vlads for whatever reason. Even more armor stacking in a game where I think armor stacking is useless. Because that 5 armor you get from Vlads will evaporate once uh, <laughs> Dazzle puts down one of his two. Is Dazzle soloing Roshan? What is going on? I mean, dude. <laughs> I know you want to carry this game, but this is a little bit ridiculous. But at the same time, what should uh, the, the Radiant team do? All they have to... Oh yes, there it is. MKB is ready. So, um, uh, Terror Blade can eat through illusions. Um, and through evasion now. And Lena picks up... <laughs> I think, now I think they're toying around a little bit. Why do... Th I know he has... He's full slot okay. why does why does cancer now I, I know i know i know no bonus damage or a bonus damage for his illusions and aura armor and so on but i i i i would say in my opinion right now um the ages would be much much more useful on phantom cancer okay this could be one of the most important fights. Yeah. Doom is too far forward. What are you doing, dude? This should be Doom. Oh, well, he's pretty tanky. Weave Armor is doing work. Now uh, Rubik is too far forward and dying. Oh, God, Lina. 
Lena, you're not a carry. Yes, I know you have the the. Oh, she is so dead. Uh, Rubik is dead. Oh, Dazzle is down. That's bad. Um, still, look at this. 19. Oh, now he has his armor back. So, entry and curse down. This was completely unnecessary. Um, well, I do that very often myself. I have a good game as a, a well, well, a good initiator support. Uh, Doom, you're dead. I have a good game as an initiator support, um, and then I start to go in. Ooh, look at look at this! All the range creeps, all the mega range creeps. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Look at Fudge with this 15 armor. Oh man! Look at the damage. Look at the piercing damage. Oh man! Thank God for Rod. Yeah. God, the illusion is really big. Uh, um, as I said, in that fight, <clears throat> Lena died twice. And that didn't help anybody. Now, if Ellen Pratch would have been able to know that she can die twice, that would have been perfect. Oh well. <sighs> Mega creeps are mega creeping. We have 61 on melee mega creeps and 37 on range mega cre uh, on normal range creeps. Uh, that's ridiculous. We have 40 on siege creeps, normal siege creep, and 56 on uh, mega siege creeps. This is bad. This whole lane is a liability, and I really doubt that um, the radiant team will get so much counter push. And they can reword this. Um, the the main problem you have, if you counter a cancer in his illusions through items, is that this could be something else. I love Mjolnir, of course, but if your Terrorblade needs to buy a Mjolnir and an MKB just as a reaction, that's bad. He should have. He should have. A heart for his illusions, or at least a butterfly. Now, um, is cancer going? What is? Oh, aha, Daedalus. Yes. I guess next stop is going to be um, Boots of Travel. Then he's six slotted. Then he's through. Yeah. Then it's over. Got the sound. Look at the. Listen to that sound. <laughs> Look at, uh, I mean the illusion have two eight damage, uh, HP, they have evasion. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess Doom. Well, he has a stomp. A stomp is useful. Is that? That's a real Phantom Lancer. Dust, dust, dust. Is she dusted? Is she dusted? She is doomed. Oh God! What do you do? What are you doing? Oh God! Oh, counter push. <sighs> God, what was this? This was bad. Really bad. And that was another kill for Terror Blade. Ooh. Now things are going to get interesting. I still think um, that the Radiant with all their kills. Oh, yeah. Terror Blade has a uh, butterfly. I still think that um, the Dire Teams has to. It's going to win this. Oh. Because uh, their push cannot be countered. But I've never seen a direct one-to-one -one between a Terror Blade and a Cancer, so I'm really that's a really interesting game. Oh yeah, oh, now all the illusions. Now they are going home. They're a little bit far forward, dude. Oh he ah, oh that's bad. Now now he has his butterfly again. Um, Rubik's going in. Oh, Centaur stunned. And now we are going to see what's going on. Doom has been hit by um, the Laguna Blade, but now Laguna Blade is more and more going to be useless or just used to finish up some people. I mean, Doom has 2000 HP. Oh, is he going down? Oh, no. Let's see. Weave armor. 
Fudge. What are you doing? Go home. Ah, uh, why didn't he? What are you doing? What is the Dire team doing? Uh, the Radiant team doing? That was bad. <sighs> and they only got the tower. Such counter push. And now the illusions are coming. Patch, Elm Patch is ready. Not the Patch Patch, no, but the Elm Patch. Uh, <laughs> illusions are replicating and replicating. Look at all those sand rewards. Yeah, you have to buy back. Um, but uh, to be honest, this, these buildings here, say goodbye to them. Oh well. Nice. Double edge. Did it really work? All the illusions are gone. Nice. I really overestimated the power of the illusions. Well, they are the main strength. They won't get any any stronger. He has a heart. He has a butterfly. Um, he's 25. So it seems that um, the Radiant team can hold their own. Core problem is that Dazzle, Lena, they're all still very useful, especially Puck, uh, perfect initiator. But uh, Rubik and especially Pudge, they are a liability now. They can't really contribute. Yes, Pudge has a lot of HP, but still he has 15 armor, so he's going to die so quickly. And he has no, no items that can be useful for his team and the only thing I could think he could buy would be a, a, a halberd to disarm somebody. And the, the evasion helps too, but it's a strength item and the disarm is really useful, but it's pretty expensive. God, look at this. <laughs> Two men fighting illusions. Got one of the thousand HP crit, of course it was. So now Ellen Patch doing the right thing. Red Dodo. Two illusions. Um, you have to kill them quickly, otherwise they are going to replicate. That's the right thing. Illusions are gone. Now I guess Cancer is going back here and the whole team is smoked. And rotating top. And who are they going to kill? Ah, Patch. Is he going to get away? No, no. Uh, the broken tether meant his death. 80 seconds isn't that useful for his team, but still his rod can help to keep um, the creep wave at bay. Is Roshan, Roshan is up. So what is Pudge doing? As her boots of travel is going to get them. is eating the creepways for breakfast and then porting somewhere. Now, normally I would say this is very dangerous. You know, you have the enemy jungle here and you have no wards in the enemy jungle. At least send one illusion into the enemy jungle to help you. Um, I mean, now we can see that nobody is go coming to gank him. But still, this is dangerous. And 976. Uh, most of the seven death have come from situation. Oh yeah, she's going. That's good. Very good. Because most of the deaths have come from situations like these, uh, where pushing uh, was a little bit too far forward and was killed. I guess there's going to be some dust. Dust? No. Too far forward on the tower. And look, all the illusions are gone. Okay, this should be, um, yeah, of course, of course, but again, Lena will take the ages because that's apparently, uh, uh, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. It, it is a basher. Hmm. Lena bought a basher. Oh, that's bad. There's a ward. There's a ward. They see him.
That's bad. Lena Border Basher. Now, most of you will say, um, that's terrible. And it is, of course, on the one hand. But on the other hand, a basher is best, like any kind of bash, when you have a high attack speed card. The best chance is higher. And the proc chance. And nobody has a higher attack speed um, than Lena with Fury Soul. This is something that has so... Uh, Fury Soul has been buffed so often um, re people were really surprised that it wasn't buffed again in this patch. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It has stacks. Oh god. Max, you can have three stacks of 85 bonus attack speed. And that together with a basher. And uh, strength is okay, uh, but problem is, of course, Range chant ten percent. That's nothing. But still, it on on somebody that has a high movement speed, uh, oh, movement speed, attack speed that can be worth it. That last border ghost scepter should have bought that one uh, far far earlier, so he wouldn't have died ten times. But had a lot of success early game, so you can get a little bit bossy. But if he hadn't, I get this game would have been uh, over a lot earlier. Um, problem is, um, Radiant is playing defend the base. And Cancer can now teleport all over the map and just, you know, farm all the lanes, have fun. Problem is, he has 5000 gold, what is he going to do with it? Nothing. Save for buyback. There is no item in his inventory that... I don't know, perhaps sell the Manta style and buy a Super Basher or something. I don't know. No. Let's be honest, the only thing that you could think about would replace something here and buy a BKB. But it won't happen because... Just save for buyback. Oh good. Everybody is mid. All the while the bot tower falls. Oh god, Rubik, you are so dead. <laughs> Rubik has to use <laughs> his ghost scepter against the loot. Oh man, but why are they waiting? All the while they had to defend bot, they really should have tried to uh, to push in the top, or uh, mid, sorry. Uh, Terror Blade is taking a lot of damage. Has Metamorphosis on right now? Is on cooldown for 100 seconds. Healing up. He has only 1.6k one, 1. HP. What is he lacking here? Buying a crystalis. Dude, you should have bought a higher heart. Nah, I don't know. Oh god. Down go the regs. And now. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Dallas recipe. They had to pull it back. Terrible really has a high attack speed now. Hope didn't hit. Yeah, everybody's hanging around uh, in front of the base. There's again the army of uh, illusions, but this time they should be able to bring them down pretty quickly together with Rot, together with two stomps. The war stomp on Doom is right now really useful. It's very good. Even the late game, uh, the um, the three stun duration on illusions is very good. I mean, it only stuns two seconds for heroes, but three on creeps and non-heroes, and that's very good. Um, I mean, if you look at Centaur, um, he doesn't have a three second stun. Of course, uh, his stun also does a lot of damage. Um, yeah. Let's look at some graphs. 10,000 XP difference for the Dire, the Radiant. What? Okay. And uh, it gold is even? Oh god, now it goes in. Weave armor. Is he breaking the... T no, he isn't. Minus. Minus two, minus three, minus four. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. And down goes the barracks. Minus eleven. Look at this. 
Just look at Pudge in his armor. Now it's back. Ooh, what are I doing? What are I doing, Terror Blade? What is he doing? What is he doing? What? Oh God, that looks. Oh. <laughs> oh God, that's the biggest hero I've ever seen. Yeah, no, you want to get in, but that's not worth it. Stay with your team. Uh, oh God, are they going to get Ellen Fudge? Yes, she's doomed. That is it. She's down. Oh, that was a nice kill. That was an important kill. And Terror Blade got the kill. Now, I don't think that um, pushing this out is really going to work because, well, uh, can Pudge alone? Pudge, go back to into you, your base, okay? Go back. If you die now, if you die now, nobody will be there to defend your base. What are you doing out here? Why, why is everybody spreading up? What? Radiance courier has been oh, this is bad. Did anybody see? Wait a minute. Um, I just want to go back. Um, wait a minute. Just to go back a step to see if any anything was in the courier because that is really sad. You normally can't see that. Okay. Where's the courier? Courier. Where is it? Courier. Where are you? What? Here it is. Radiance bottom barracks. Okay. Let's wait a, a bit. We are flying out. Let's fight again. He is activating everything. Getting so big. My god. Where the curry is still in base. If oh no, he's not going to. Um, Paris in base. Yeah, that's where Elm Pudge dies. Rubik steals double walk. There's a double damage rune for a tree. Puck hanging around here. Touch defending. And now the courier is coming. Oh god, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Are they going to lose the Chrysalis and the recipe? Yet they are! Chrysalis and Delilah's recipe is down! Oh god, that is bad. That is bad. Oh god. Yeah. I mean, Puck is dead, but still. My god. God, that is bad. Where is he? Wait a minute. I thought that was his items. Did he? Uh, now I'm confused. I'm pretty sure that those were his items. Wait a minute. Now, yeah, let's look at this. Yeah, he is the dude with the two asterisks. Hmm. Perhaps he put them on the curve because he doesn't need the Daedalus anymore. Don't ask me, people. Don't ask me. Oh, he wanted to replace the Manta with the Daedalus. We'll see. Now, everybody is up. No, no. Pa uh, Puck is still down. Dagon, too. And... Illusions. Are they going to get the tower? They are not. Was close. Was pretty close. Arrow Blade. 5-8 in the bank. There is a sentry. Illusions are hunting for someone. It's tree. Had the cheese, by the way. And Elm Touch coming in. At least her illusions. Basher for Centaur. Let's see. Are they going to get the illusion? No, the tower is back. The tower is down. No chance. No chance to stop the illusions from doing that. All the while, all through level is on the bot lane, buying four observer wards. Very good warding going on. You have to say, I don't agree with all the places the wards are going, but um, this, uh, the supports are really doing their job well. 
Dazzle going in. As a E blade now. Upgraded his uh you know, scepter. Or whatever. Again. <laughs> Having to lift the illusions so that they don't do too much damage. Defending mid while everybody is bottom, top or bottom. Um, Terror Blade getting farm he doesn't need. Uh, illusions, fight illusions. <laughs> this game. <laughs> this game. Why is everybody split pushing? His artful world is going to die. Uh, I don't. Use tree armor and he uses the cheese. But now he's dead. Yeah. Now he's dead, but still, the next illusion's going into town. The stomp is helping, but they're still doing so much damage. Three or four times, illusions coming in, then the wrecks are down. Radiance Courier spawns. Um, oh, who was hugged? Hugged, of course, hook. Um, it was Dazzle. Dazzle should go down. Yes. Nice. And puck dies and tree dies. Wow. On the bot lane we have a Abyssal Blade Lena. Holy crap. <clears throat> of course the bad thing about this is not only that she gets a lot of damage and the bash, but also that she can stun, has an active stun on an enemy, which is fantastic. And and this is important, go through magic immunity. Uh, not that Terror Blade has a BKB, but still. But that stun is very good and right now this is a phase in the game where on support items like these are getting better and better. So if Pudge should get ever he has 5,000 gold, buy a Gotham Halberd! You know, disarm the enemy. It's good. What is he going to buy? A heart perhaps? But right now I don't even think a heart is going to help him. He, right in this situation what you really need is uh, some kind of active items to help your team out. Um, are they trying to push mid? Hmm. Can they push mid? Can they win a team fight? I, I mean, they have the most kills, and many of those are coming from being out of position by the enemy team. A lot of, you know, uh, pack being here or tree being there. Um, that is. Hmm. How can I say this? It happens a lot if have you if you have very good support that roam a lot in the beginning of the game and they simply can stop roaming. <laughs> okay, Pudge. Um, um, uh, oh God. Yeah. But who has what? The cheese and the ages just lying around. So we have edges on, and we have ages and a cheese and Pudge. <laughs> Oh, nice. Um, the most useless hero. And um, the illusions on the bot lane. Tree is shifting down and helping the big creep wave and the illusions getting in. So there should be more illusions spawned. And yeah, there's. But oh, they push in. Nice. They get a barracks too. Ah, oh, the illusions are down. Already down. Rubik illusion too. Yeah, it's so hard to push against this. And of course you always have a tree hanging around casually in your jungle and um, pressuring you, scouting you out. And it's so ridiculous. I mean, I'm playing this game since Dota 1, you know? And there was a time when Tree could create words. And that was when he was perfect. And then he was remade and remade and remade, remade over and over again. And for a long time, his illusion didn't really, nobody really liked his, uh, uh, sorry, his invisibility. Nobody really liked in, his invisibility. But right now, everybody thinks it's perfect. And so, so that's, these changes are, the, oh, oh, that's bad. That's bad, you're dead. Oh, what? <laughs> this game gave me cancer. Well, you have cancer on your side, right? 
right? Yeah, you wish, dude. You wish. How did he escape? I don't get it. He's, then he blinked, but he already was taking damage. I don't get it. I had the kid across the street play for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I had to eat. Nice. Okay, next push, but again, illusions are getting lifted. But, well, the Radiant can't defend, but they can't push. Terror Blade has 10,000 gold, but what should he buy? Um, I still say lose your Manta. Buy something else, but don't ask me what. Oh god. Now... Oh, is he? No, he isn't. Oh god. Ulti and an illusion. But Dazzle should be dead. Again! What is going on with you people and being out of position? Aren't you able to push together? I mean, if you push five men, this should be over. Use all the illusions and three dice too. Use all the illusions in one lane and your complete team and this is over because the enemy team has to fight you and your illusions. Oh man. Inverse rune on Phantom Cancer. Guess he's going to go... And an illusion rune, what is going on? He's going, where is he going? Is he... Oh well. Oh god, if they get Terror Blade. No, he's pouring... Does he have... No, that's Doom, sorry. He loses his rune. Yeah, now they nice, nice. But now the fight is on. No, uh, these should be what? kill, kill Puck, doom him. No, they have to. And again, they lose the barrack. They can do nothing. Oh, nice hook, nice hook. Ah, oh, he broke off the ulti. But still, Puck is down. But it was worth it. They again lost another barracks, but still. They also pushed down two barracks, and there were even some hits on the mid tower. Ah, but they lost so much, so much, so much mega creeps. They do so much damage right now. Okay, let's see. We have Terror Blade, we have Rubik, and we have Patch Frog. That should Patch should should stay back and defend the the. The base with his rod. He should have bought a, a heart. Look at this. Yeah, that's why we call him Phantom Cancer. Illusions everywhere. Again, um, when this game is finished, I'm going to upload it. This will take quite some time because I'm right now recording in MP4, so could take couple of hours but then I also list the legendary phantom cancer song by Cybermad if I find it okay double edge <laughs> didn't was enough <laughs> no no don't show them this game what is going on is doom going oh is doom going to fall uh, no he's going out yeah that's a problem. Phantom Cancer simply has nothing to stun, has nothing to slow. He has two. <laughs> okay, um, he didn't sell his mantle, but he has two hearts now. Uh, so the illusion should have 4000 HP. So this will be nice. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the illusions just don't care. Um, <laughs> Doom, you have, a you have a basher, but the illusions don't care. Nice. The melee creeps at the thousand HP. The <laughs> illusions have four thousand HP. Terror blades uh, still only one six. That's bad. Oh man, <laughs> I just wanted a quick game. Yeah, didn't we all? Oh god, a gun. This, this you should leave. Don't say this. This game is epic. Shadow blade pressure. Now everybody's just buying what he feels like, I guess. So, good evening. 
We are from the Phantom Cancer Association. These are our 4000 HP illusions. And we want to talk to you about the religion of Phantom Cancer. If you join our religion, you have to see, uh, accept uh, Phantom Cancer as your Lord and Savior, but um, you get 4000 HP illusions in return. But they fall pretty quickly. Interesting. And surprisingly, haha. -ha, uh, no, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, no, no, no. And now Lina is coming. It's the Basher Lina. Basher Lina is coming. Super Basher Lina is coming. What is he going to do? Super Basher Lina. Stun. And down he goes. Bash, 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 bash. Yeah. <clears throat> And cancer illusions, 4000 HP. Yeah, but they fall, nevertheless, they fall pretty quickly. Relatively quickly. I mean, everybody has to be there, right? Now, if you ask me, is, is this uh, the longest game or the most obnoxious game I've ever seen? I have to tell you, forget it, people. There was this one game I saw where everybody had. Um, spare divine rapiers lying in the in the fountain and everybody had their own courier following them around um, which had their boots of travel because they were six slotted and had, didn't have place for boots or something and that was but that was a really oh, <laughs> level bad some illusions now oh my god I knew I, I knew how long this game would be going, but still, casting it. But I really thought it would be some kind of marathon, and I would have, would suffer through this. But it isn't. This is amazing, people. This is amazing. It's an amazing game. Okay, let's see. Um, Putch is also going for Mjolnir. Buy a heart, dude. Again, I already told you. Mjolnir's, Maelstrom Mjolnir's are very good to stop the illusion, stop the push, but they don't give you that much in team fights. I mean, for what does Pudge need attack speed? Oh well, I guess right now all these skills are pretty much useless, so you can uh, uh, as well use attack speed. Okay, let's see. Woohoo! Things are getting good. Still hasn't sold his manta. What is he? He's uh, well. He's switch. Everybody's switching out items, trying new stuff. Now Ellen Pudge has a uh, Eye of Scardi that gives her illusion and herself even more HP, which makes sense. Eye of Scardi is a very good item. Gives you everything. He doesn't really need the mana so much, but um. But the slow, I don't know if she. If that's really the the most important thing. But the the HP on the illusions is now to the max, maxed out. Just ridiculous. Tanking up. Oh, are they? Are they seeing the Potch has a gem? Is he going to? Oh, the the HP. She is going down so slowly. So, but she will. will, will no, no, she's still alive. What is going on? Kill her. Kill her. Yes. And down she goes. My god, down she goes. And everybody's pouring back to uh, defend the base. Wow. 110 minutes dead Phantom Cancer. And now split push, uh, split push, uh, split push two lanes. Uh, ignore the bot lane. Split push two lanes. Um, yeah. Or just, yeah, they have to go for end game right now. Everybody needs. A TP, everybody needs boots of travel and go for end. And, and, oh no, no, ah, here's a TP. And, yes, cancer is by next. That's bad. That's bad. Well, it was a little bit far, far forward, but um, still. Yeah, uh, losing a lot of AC. Yeah, they have to back off. Sad but true. Another better, a uh, better, bleh, another basher this time on Doom. Nice in combination. Oh, puck. What? <laughs> oh man, 
they don't have. Are they? Oh, they're getting. Yeah. I mark your soul. How did this happen? How did he hook Puck and suddenly he was behind him? Oh well, perhaps I didn't see right. Um, yeah, already used Scorch Earth. Uh, usual cancer illusions hanging around with 4000 HP. And we go. <clears throat> you still have cheese. Nobody has any slots to take the cheese. Oh well, I guess Devil. Dropped his dust. And the Lina also has. Yeah. But this time, oh, cancer is a DD. What the hell? Um, yeah. He goes down too quickly. And of course, we have Lena with the Aegis again, because Lena is the Aegis, and the Aegis is Lena. There, there are two sides of the same coin. They are melt, mel They are melding. So Lena is not Lena in words anymore. It's Lena Aegis. Lena Basher Aegis. Six thousand gold Lena Basher Aegis. Okay. Now, everything is thinking, um, this game was exciting, so how, how about making this game more boring? Boring is good, right? Let's make this game more boring. Um, we have Boots of Travel all around. Huh? Tree and Protector doesn't have that much. Uh, farming up. Lena, Boots of Trail. Lena is six loaded like hell. Does damage like ridiculous, dies very quickly. We have Elm Punch running around. Um, 996 is not what you need. Too many death. And Puck also died very often, but what can he do? He has a very good initiator, but the damage dished out here is. Just ridiculous. Still, again, this shouldn't exist. This should be a sheep stick. More sheep sticks. I know you have, uh, again, sheep stick, you know? She has a sheep stick and it, it was good. It was God, oh God, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> And what is this? Well, no, what is, is, is this again? Uh, out of position, dude? Oh, that was so close. Just one overgrowth. And the push it would have. But. <laughs> oh, man. I thought. Had Punch still has his gem. Why are there are sentries everywhere? <laughs> oh, my God. But I guess they're gaining so much uh, uh, money. They couldn't care less. They really couldn't care less. And apparently the the Dire team still can't uh, decide to five-man push, you know? Look at this. All the lanes, all the lanes are pushed out. All the lanes. And the, the Radiant really has to defend all the lanes. So why not go mid and end this? Just GG push. Yeah, tower defense, please. Well, I'll make it happen. I want to play my tower defense games. Yeah, <laughs> of course they can. You, you are the people that have to end this. Oh God, I didn't realize. I always thought, why, why, why? I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I thought that, of course, the dire team is, um, is making the more. Oh, oh, that's bad. That's bad again. Out of position. Out of position, man. If you die now, this is it. Oh, God. If he dies, the game is over. Yeah, you're dead. That was so stupid. What is he doing? Uh, I, I didn't realize that the Radiant was so much far forward. I really thought they were behind, or at least even, but it's 10... Uh, well, 
let's be honest we have we have 89 seconds and uh what okay now it's over i didn't see that but now it's over now it's over that was terrible everything's pushed in yeah gg yeah those buybacks came too late far too late now if doom dies Doom is dead. Lena is going to town. Three is down, but still. Hey, but again. They're, f they're defending. Oh, oh god, Terrorblade. Terrorblade, if you die... No, no, he has switched his HP. Nice. They're defending this. I really thought... Oh, Lena is down. So now, this should be over, right? Um, Shouldn't this... Wait a minute buyback status oh well they all can buy back all can buy back touch gets another gem because what else should you buy that's a good idea um cancer is still here porting back okay this push is important if you kill one of them or two of them yes dazzle goes down oh patch is it uh elm patch well, she is when now she go yes he's down this should be game okay now this should be game now everybody's buying back Lena surviving nice pack out cancer is doing business punches down oh god oh god if terror blades died now terror blade terror oh god Oh god, the kill! Everybody, it's a wipe! Oh god, it's a wipe! Do, doom! Oh god, it's a team wipe. Terror Blaze buys back. But no, no buybacks, only Ruby can buy back. Oh god, what is going on? What is going on? This should have been game. This. Oh god. Nobody can buy back. He doesn't know. This is over. Oh my. This is so over. Everybody has boots of travel. Everybody's boarding down. They can't buy back, only Ruby can buy back, and Terror Blade cannot defend. What a game. What a game. Now, if Terror Blade dies now, okay, this is it. Game is over. Goodbye. What? 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 Why did you paw? This is not good. This is, this is unacceptable. Really unacceptable. That's shit. That's a uh, puppy pause. Oh my god. This game. This game. This game. Oh man. What is going on? Did I really just cast this game? I don't know. Okay, just a little bit. Again, there were some strange decisions on both sides. Mainly, Daddle was getting, uh, going, becoming a little bit cocky. I mean, the refresher um, wouldn't have the scepter been enough. Uh, that again that could have been an early sheep stick um, terror blade never got a BKB so sheep sticks the dude and um, he is going to die um, in general the dire supports played a very good early game fantastic they wrote it a lot and later on they were running around a little bit too much there wasn't enough coordination but in the end I think the reason the the Radiant team really lost was that m some of their some of their players simply couldn't contribute anymore, and that was mainly Rubik and Pudge. Rubik never stole any useful alties, um, especially Puck alti would have been so good in team fights, or a Trained Trained alti, or a Dazzle alti, or he did it but didn't do it enough, and of course Pudge. Uh, is Pudge. He had a terrible early game, had a terrible mid game and had a terrible late game. He bought useless items for Pudge, he bought 
Mjolnir to defend. He shouldn't have done that. Um, Doom already bought one, Terrorblade bought one, and Centaur bought one. And he should have uh, the BKB. I don't really know. It's okay on Pudge, but he should really bought hard. Um, on the Radiant side, Ellen Pudge died a little bit too often. She went uh, all Gonzo in some situations, but still did a lot of pushing. Uh, two hearts and uh, I have Scardi basically meant that she could push a lot, which she did, but wasn't able to, you know, kill enough. For instance, I would have rather kept my defusal for the mana burn than instead my Mantis style. And no, Mantis style gives you a lot more strength, lots of agility, intelligence, attack speed, and so on, and the illusions, but still. Um, there simply wasn't a lot enough uh, single target damage in the end. Lina get, went to to, uh, totally gone, so, but still there were some... Uh, her choices made some sense, like a Basher and a Daedalus are okay on a, a heavy attack speed lineup and if... Yeah. Buying a Sheepstick was perfect. That's her job. Puck um, shouldn't have bought a Dagon. Uh, this should have been also a Sheepstick. More sheepsticks, please. Again, especially in games where you suddenly have a lot of hard carries that don't buy BKBs because they say, hey, I can buy other things in this, these slots. See a BKB on Phantom Lancer? Nope. See a B BKB on Terrorblade? Nope. So sheepsticks then. What I liked very much, of course, <clears throat> was that Lena had two items that could disable the enemy. This was perfect. So some people would have said perhaps uh, she played around too much, but Sheepstick and the stun of the Abyssal Blade help a lot. And I guess, um, especially in the last fight, if you would have looked at the last fight very slowly, you would have seen how much damage she really did. Um, Dazzle helped out in the early and uh, the mid game a lot, um, especially with this weave, but played too much of the carry in the late game, but still. Um, Medallion of Courage helped a lot and, well, all the other items weren't very useful. Especially, I, sorry, I simply can't get over the refresher. Um, the alt is amazing and it's ridiculous how much you wreck with it, but it's not refresher amazing. Okay, my name is Momsen Was Right. Follow me on all those shitty um, um, social networking services. I have to be on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Um, I don't know. I I think I even have a live journal account. Uh, this was very nice to cast. Greetings to all my friends on Neogath and thank you and goodbye.